What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecola Espresso and welcome to today's video. Now today we're going to be talking about Advanced Warfare again, this time with some real cool stuff that we can piece together from the past two days of the coverage of E3. Now as you know E3 is where the magic starts and the hype really builds, mostly for the game overall and the campaign. I really urge you not to get your hopes up for multiplayer. Earliest I would think that we'd be seeing something from multiplayer is shown in Gamescon in August. So don't get your hopes up for more of that, but what we do have today is some absolutely awesome stuff. What I'm talking about is we have some sneak peek looks at campaign missions as well as new tech and guns in the game. So today will serve as kind of a benchmark in the week and I'm going to be referencing one video primarily, which I'll leave the link down in the description below. Now it's possible by the time that this is up, there will be a full high quality version released by Call of Duty, but for the time being, it's something that was on the down low and was the behind closed doors media presentation footage from Advanced Warfare. So let's get right into it. Firstly, we know this about our main PMC Atlas from our dialogue from Kevin Spacey, aka Jonathan Irons. They're the first PMC to gain a seat in the UN. They created the most advanced armored combat vehicle on the planet. They're the largest corporation in the world. They're the most profitable privately owned corporation in the world. They established the internationally recognized United United as one foundation. They have achieved a higher approval rating than any U.S. president in history. They were named savior among first and third world countries, and they were the recipient of the 2051 Technological Innovation Award for Advancements in Biogenics. So that's a lot of stuff right there to boast about. Our main corporation is a real powerhouse. Now the next thing that I want to focus on with you guys is that we got a look in at three of our weapons, presumably two assault rifles and one submachine gun. The BAL-27 is the first one shown, and this is the weapon that we we've seen all throughout the coverage. My guess is it's going to be like the M8 from Black Ops 2 and the Honey Badger in Ghost where it was kind of the poster boy of weaponry and my guess is that we're going to be seeing a lot of this as a favorited weapon in game, single player and multiplayer wise. Now next up we have the AMR9 which looks exactly like the Vector and if it's not Sledgehammer's version of the Vector upgraded to be a little more futuristic I'd be quite surprised honestly. And the last one we're shown is the ASM1 which to me looks like a futuristic Tommy gun. Now following the weaponry we got a montage of gameplay from the campaign. First up are two levels that Charlie Intel reported on a short time ago called Biolab and Collapse. Biolab, you have to infiltrate a chemical facility in a stealthy manner to investigate a chemical outbreak, then get out of there. Towards the end of the level, you'll start to get some action as you're trying to escape. Collapse is a mission on the Golden Gate Bridge in which we go chase down a KVA group on the bridge and is then destroyed. There's been a lot more information on this one, so I'm not going to really focus on this one too much. But after those were three more areas that stuck out to me, the Balkan Mountains, what looks to be another stealthy mission, some sort of search and rescue mission maybe, not sure exactly on it because not much was made clear in the 30 second footage, but it did depict some cool tech like cloaking and sensing, and there's also action towards the end of it when we're scattering, and that portion of the montage is ended by us blowing up a tank. The next location is in Lagos, where we've seen coverage before, but it is the car chase in a busy highway, a cool addition in my opinion, to be doing this kind of stuff. Stuff, it's more tactical than other missions because of how you actually have to play about the mission itself. You probably will have to keep in mind civilians in the area. And now the last area that we're shown is a dismal looking place. Areas are broken down and fenced off. I'm not exactly sure where this is going, but it seems like a turn in story perhaps. But regardless, it's going to be extremely awesome. Like I said, I'll leave the link down in the description below to the video if you want to check it out for yourselves. I definitely would recommend it. But I just wanted to bring you guys a little bit of coverage on the behind closed door stuff for you you guys so that you guys are all up to date with advanced warfare going into the rest of this week so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below are you guys excited for this and if so what part is your favorite so far of all the e3 coverage that's been my time ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for watching if you did like the video please leave a like ring down below any shares of your facebook twitter and or my space if you would you like that or is greatly appreciated if you're new here be sure to subscribe for the best of call of duty advanced warfare content any new news and information you guys know exactly where to find it right here up on my channel so thank you guys once again so much for watching my name's Vinny Cola espresso as always if you guys have Having a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace. Right, <laughs>